What is going on guys, today we are looking at the third and final Scottish player, the cheapest one out of the trio, it is McGregor. Obviously McGregor, Fraser and Tyranny are all in one SBC, very much like the Sweden one, I think I've said that three times, literally back to back now, but he is a 4 star, 4 star, 90 rated, left footed, unfortunately his goal wasn't enough to spur a comeback against Croatia, scoring an absolute rocket in the like 40th minute or something like that, I think it was before half time. It was either before half time or just after. But unfortunately, they did not quite make qualification for the knockouts. But that being said, they're still there. We've got the uh, the World Cup next year. So hopefully they can spur up a little bit of uh, confidence from this and produce some magical experiences in the World Cup. That being said, we've got McGregor here. 5'9", high, high work rates, left-footed with solid player and finesse and also team player. So actually the most traded card out of the three. In terms of stats then, we're going with the anchor, which obviously gives you a plus five if you have 10 player chemistry. Unfortunately, we don't actually have a CDM to CM, so we can't give him a 10, but we are looking at full bin, so we can tell you exactly what the stats would get. His defending would go up to 95 with a plus six, and his physicals would go up to a 96, turn him into a 95 DM, which is fantastic. For a 90 rated to go up an extra five, it's beautiful. We've got passing, we've got the short down to an absolute T, good vision, good curve, long pass and the rest of them average. I really don't really care about free kick accuracy or crossing from the guy as obviously he's more of a tackler than a free kick taker. Dribbling wise, we've got great agility balance, which I'm really excited to see how that pans out. Great composure. Ball control is beautiful. Unfortunately, reactions are a little bit lower than what we kind of expected, but 84 is still respectable-ish. 89 dribbling as the base, and then we have some fantastic dribbling and physicals from him. His strength goes up to 94. His aggression gets maxed out at 99, and then we end up with 80 jumping. And then obviously, in terms of his defending, everything's maxed out at 99, bar from his head and accuracy, which goes up to 60 into McGregor that's it oh good to, good defender from Deriv but McGregor with a through ball constantly on that midfield we see there again getting the touch on it doesn't necessarily win it but who knows that little touch could have taken it away from being through on goal instantly McGregor, McGregor getting his little one twos in with R9 doesn't quite get the length on that chip through ball though McGregor with some lovely feet, sticks it away from his defender. 1-2 with Maradona. Oh, again, just missing out on that final touch. McGregor pushing forward consistently. CR7's going to see him through and referee. What is that all about? Managing to get McGregor involved a hell of a lot this game. We have managed to... Uh, to lose a whole half of recording because I didn't click record. Unfortunately, McGregor did manage to make a beautiful run at the start of the game and managed to get himself his first goal, which unfortunately probably is his only goal in the match, which is a shame again because obviously we don't get to see it. Hopefully we can get another chance with him, but he's played absolutely phenomenally. He's really put an effort in, again, up and down the pitch, consistently winning balls back, bringing it forward. I'd say definitely he's one that's really surprised me with not necessarily how good he is because his stats do read that, but I didn't think he would be as playable on the pitch as I do think he actually is. Like, yes, he's no Kimmich or, or, or kind of like a team of the year De Bruyne, but most definitely for 80,000 coins for a 90 rated nation player, I really don't think he's awful in terms of what you can get back. McGregor pushing forward, sees in a bit of Fraser, he's got Lazaro to beat. Little ball. Oh, that's a great catch out of the air from Neuer. McGregor with an interception. Genuinely been exceptional in that DM role. McGregor doing a wonderful job coming back in the defense and taking the ball away nicely. And winning the header. Winning the header as well. McGregor into Fraser. It's not a very good forward ball, but it does manage to get there. Unfortunately, Fraser is a little bit small to try and win that header. So going into the overall for McGregor then. Honestly, probably one of the ones that really surprised me more than anything. Um, obviously, he's not really had anything kind of upgrade worthy man of the match in fifa 17 and then this is his highest rated card obviously scotland they did well even though the performances in terms of results weren't there 
they performed. They did well. They put a number against England. Obviously, they, they put up a fight against Croatia. Unfortunately, that just wasn't to be. And I think Czech Republic, it was just a slow start from the looks of things. But hopefully, they bounce back. That is it's what, what we all want in terms of football. I want a big match. I want just everybody to kind of compete. I know it's hard for every team to do so well. But at least giving it a go. We see teams, ups, upsets and all of that good stuff on oh, it's sometimes even a weekly basis with all the leagues of football. So hopefully they can come back in the World Cup and do quite well there. Obviously, in terms of this card, then he's coming in at, I think, about 70 to 80K for just an 84 rated team. So it's coming in at 79K on the Xbox, 72 on the PlayStation and 90 on the PC, 84 rated, 70 cam, pretty standard. All SBCs don't require at all any informs or team of the seasons, which is fantastic. And then obviously you do get free players from it and a prime gold pack. So I think McGregor for me, probably if you're not too fussed about the prime gold, is the one that people are not going to be doing. Even so, I still think he's a relatively good player. Yes, links wise, you're going to have to do all three because of the Scottish links. You've got like Dalgleish, um, you've got Robertson, I suppose, if you didn't want to do Tyranny. Left mid, I don't think you've got McTominay showdown. Other than that, that's about it. If you went into the Scottish League, I think they. Yeah, they got Tavernier, Edward, uh, Goldson. So you could link him down the right-hand side. Obviously, you've got Kent as well, another cracking player. And then Julian as well, if you did pick him in the, in the storyline. But I think in general, in terms of like mega teams, he's not really going to get in anywhere. I think even on the bench, there's still a lot of good talent out there. But I think for me... He did well. He put his shift in, managed to get a couple of goals himself, obviously making assists, through balls, defending. I think he played quite a decent role in my opinion. I really was surprised that he did as well as he did. Obviously being left-footed, a little bit of a surprise to start with. People don't really know left-footed players unless it is the, the Robins or the Messes. Obviously then as you go a bit further into the players, you realise how many people actually have that strong left foot. He's a four-star, four-star, obviously, which is always a massive, massive help. I think if I was to take any sort of weakness from him, I'd say just it, it's his rating. He just needs to be higher. There's not really, apart from his heading, I suppose, but I, I guess you kind of guess that from being 5'9 in the midfield. He's not necessarily going to head the balls consistently. He is better on the ground. And obviously with that anchor is a 95 or 93 DM slash centre-back. So fantastic there. Overall wise, I'm going to give him a solid 9 out of 10. I think he actually did play quite well for the SBC prize, his rating and overall kind of game uh, enjoyment. I'm rating quite highly. So hopefully you did enjoy the video. Let me know down below if you've completed any of the free Scottish nation players. Apart from that, I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.